Hello, 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 everyone. It's day 16 and today we are starting a new chapter. And this chapter, chapter four, is maintain your commitment. I am so excited. I hope you are too. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with me. You are watching God Speaks. We are on a 30 day commitment challenge. And one of the things I have realized about commitments is that sometimes you really start off very, very well and you fall off somewhere there because commitments need to be maintained and commitments can really be challenging it it requires a lot of discipline it requires energy it requires focus commitment maintaining your commitment is not an easy task but by the grace of god it is very possible and so over the next few days we want to look at how can we maintain our commitment and let us now discuss the first one <laughs> so for today in maintaining our commitment which is necessary if we're going to you know grow in our faith if we're going to mature if we're going to achieve our goals you know if we want to do the things that we set out to do under god we must be committed so firstly to help us maintain our commitment we must keep a vision of the future in mind what i'm talking about is a kind of a big picture keep a vision of the future in mind i remember when i was going to bible school and uh, it was a very heavy program that i had decided that i was going to pursue and at some point you know when you're going through and at some point, things just really get overwhelming. You're close to the end, but you have these strong feelings of wanting to give up. And you start to question whether you are going to make it because, you know, having to manage school, studying with work and ministry and so many other things going on. And you're really not doing very well at meeting deadlines and all of that. I remember going through that period and one of the things that kept me going was the fact that I, I had to keep thinking about the end. I continued because I had the end in mind. That's what I'm talking about. That future vision, that big picture. I kept saying to myself, and remember, this is just one of the things that I did. I kept saying to myself, at the end of the day, what story do I want to tell? When, when, if I, if I really go through to the end, do I, what, 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 what do I want to tell? And I recognized right away that the story I wanted to tell is that I stayed with it. I was committed. I stayed the course. And I didn't give up. I trusted God. It brought me closer to him because I had to believe God for, 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 for completion and everything. And I was successful. That was the story I wanted to tell. And I can tell that story now. Had I stopped at the time when I was feeling very, very overwhelmed, I would not be able to tell that. The story that I have now would have been different. And it would have been one of incompletion, one of I didn't complete it. I don't know when I'm going back and all of that. So to maintain your commitment, keep the end in mind. Here's what the Bible says. Proverbs chapter three, verse five and verse six. And I know you know it very well. So you can say it with me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight he will direct your path my friends 
Wow. To maintain that big picture, to keep a vision of the future in mind, in order to maintain your commitment, it takes trust. Why? Because you have to trust that God will take you through. You have to trust that his power, his grace is sufficient for you to get through. And that is my prayer for you today. That whatever it is, whatever goals you have set for yourself, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, that you will write it down, pray on it, and ensure that you are trusting God and looking towards the end and ask yourself, what story do I want to tell when this is all over? And go ahead and allow God to take you through to the end. Here is your commitment challenge for today. Hey, thank you so much for staying with me. And we have come to the end of day 16. Be blessed. God speaks.